your views on the governance of the university is important. It is on that note that the Vice Chancellor initiated the speak up program to enable students want to hold the University of Latvia, Professor Shero and Dr. Mark.
speaks the language of love, with which love puts her in humility and serving authority. The flies on his palm speak the testimony of how hard and yet happy he was to give his followers a home. Dedicating his time, resources, and strength to see that the soul which tests for knowledge will be replenished. I am seeing you constantly in your wife's Vivaria, the symbol of tradition. <laughs> and I am listening to you in the white man's language. He speaks no tribe or religion, rather, the wisdom of ages echoes. This leader in fairness and justice rewards all. He gives to the devoted servant pleasurable rewards. And to those who seek to live with that story, he bestows judgment on. Gifted with wisdom and understanding, he drives this multitude to the river where souls are pleased and knowledge acquired. Blessed with the ability to learn the right man's way, and yet in humility his culture is garment. Because though the white man's way is truth, a man's sincerity is way in his ability to remember his identity. With a well of knowledge and a great understanding of truth, a tiller of ground is he, yet a provider of foundation for the construction of enemies and knowledge. I'm 
Department of English and Translation as my special department. I came here to be part of this staff event in the Arabic world. So, this will tell you that we are the best departments we are attended this kind of our to share my own advice or ideas with you and to give you opportunity to also raise some issues that you want to invest in management to give attention to at least in the areas of your wealth and your performance in this place. The first thing I want to tell you here is Whenever I meet the staff or students of this university, I try as much as possible to see some areas where I can advise. All of you that are here, I know you are at different levels, maybe 100 level or 400 level. But whatever I want to say here, I have to say it to cover all of us, whether you are staff or you are students. And I'm giving this my discussion with you to the title. And the title I want to give is principle of objectivity. The principle of objectivity. This is to tell you that in life, try to be objective. And when I say to try to be objective, don't be biased. And don't play to the victim of any circumstance. And for you to do this, you have a better role to play as an individual. That is for me in this university, I cannot sit down as a vice chancellor and try to look at where anything is failing and try to identify anyone to change the university. I don't do that. I try to take responsibility of every department, every faculty has a responsibility. How to be objective? Because there are some people that society create problems for themselves. And they will also play victim of that. Why? Because they will be blaming other people for what they created for themselves. But for you to be objective in life, the first thing you need to do is for you to set your goal. You need to set your goal. And this may be helpful to our hundred level that I just come. Setting goals means that you should give yourself target. For example, as a student that is just coming to invest. Try to give yourself target. And what kind of target do you give yourself? The best is for you to say, I want to be a best class student. And then you want to work that. You plan to work that. Whatever I want to tell you here today, I want to tell you exactly what I am practicing. What exactly I am practicing. When I was a student at you, every semester, if I had 10 classes, for every lecture that I attend, I would try to gauge the difficulty level of that course. And I took for myself, what should be the grade? that I can get in this course after the exam. 
I will not give myself that grace. Before I sit there down, I will give myself that grace and conclude my CGPA and also conclude my CGPA in life with my own target. And I will not forget that. And I want to tell you, this can help a lot. All of you. As you are entering, just say, I don't want to have CGPA below, below 4.5. It's too healthy. But it's not just for you to go to class, attend class, read your books. No. You have to also sit down, plan how you want to make this 4.5 above. A part of it is for you to give yourself praise. So, so called, there's one hour, one, one, A. There's one hour, one, two, B. By that, you do that based on the status of the course of the course. And then you complete your CPP. Then you want to enter. That is the target. And that means you are setting a goal for yourself. For me, I did it. And I advise my children to do the same thing. And I'm concerned all of them to also do my own children. And I'm giving you this other advice. Particularly to those that are in 100 level, that you are not starting. This will be helpful to you. I want you to put it in practice and see how you can help it. The second principle is to find priorities. To find your priorities. There are people that don't know what is more important to them than the other. If you cannot set priority in life, it will let people come for you to succeed. And you must learn how to set priority. Because it is priority setting that will help you to know how you are going to utilize your time, to know how you are going to utilize other resources on certain activities. Because there are some activities that will consume more of your time and resources. And they may not be so important to you. But if you can identify those activities that are more important and you give them sufficient resources and sufficient time, it will lead to sources. So I want to advise them also that Try to know how to define priorities in life. Because it's just like somebody that wants to go to market to buy something. You have to sit down in your house. First of all, I think of what are those things you need most. You put them, the first thing I need is this, the second is this, the third is this. Before you go to market. But if you just go to the market without giving yourself the definition of which you are you go to the market to see certain things that will catch your eyes and you tempt them to buy that. And by the time you do that, before you now come to the important thing, you must have the process they want. And you, whatever you are taking home, you will not find out that when you need to go because you will not plan or you will not define the priority, you will not find out that certain important things have been omitted. And you may not be having enough form to go back and acquire this. Then you do what is satisfied. So that's why I say it is very important to define your priority. The other aspect of this principle is proactiveness. Proactiveness. You know, there are some of us that believe in becoming reactive than proactive. If you are proactive, you save time, you save resources. But if you are the one, the type that, that, that is reactive, you are now problem to call first before you solve it. And you look at this university, this is the principle I will use, proactiveness. I don't allow problems to be created.
the best before I was looking for a way to solve it. Before it comes, I'll put personal degree to stop that way. And that's to answer it. So also individual, you need to also practice this music. Because if you want to be reactive, you are now something to happen. And then, for example, in the university, you are now something to happen. Then you will wait to go. Let the report be submitted. When the report is submitted, you consult the committee to carry out the investigation. Then when they complete submit the report of the investigation, they will put some recommendations and the place to implement the recommendation. When the report is out, and you have carry over, you have to plan how to pass that out. It should be very easy for them if you want to get asked. If you are allowed to pay the boss, and they say it's a carry over for you, then it becomes very easy. The first time will come when a lecture of your current level will be flashing to the lecture of that kind of one. That will be more stressful. And what's bringing this is because of that of your activities. Part of it for you to sit up, read hard, consult people that learn fast, consult those people that understand faster than you. Raise questions that will make you to understand subjects better and read books as widely as possible. And when I say you read books here, you can read the level, you can read the printed. But today, I know most of our students spend more time on watching social media, you know, videos, and other things in the future media. If you use like that time for your book, you are going to be more present. So please, this is part of the right thing I have seen. The other thing you have to be able to do is try to order the new new ideas. The work is possible to complete in this case. If you are the type that are known by professional issues, for example, if a lecturer today, it's not computer literates, it's not computer literates. So also the students. We have seen cases where some lecturers have been taking a course for about 10 years and the content of that course did not change for 10 years. That means the lecturer is not productive because you need to be updating yourself on the content of the course we are teaching. So, and part of it, the right point that is not created will not accept meeting. And you that you are not ready to accept meeting will also not be ready to, to develop any meeting. Do not develop any new ideas. But the most important thing is not for you to only accept new ideas, be able to also develop new ideas yourself. And that's the only way. You can be above the ball. Because in any system we have a ball, you should not stay on the ball, always be above the ball. And for you to be above the ball, you must be creative. You must learn how to develop new ideas. Whether it's the management of the department, whether it's the management of faculty, or management of the university. And this is what exactly we are practicing in this university. Because this creativity is also part of our core value. Innovative or innovation that you are seeing in our core value is part of the creativity we are talking about. And this core value is for all of us, whether child or student. So all of you that are here, at one point in time, we are going to conduct research work, particularly at the final year. You can use that opportunity to bring new ideas into the system. Something that people will be going to learn for. Because nobody has ever done that idea. And that is what we call creativity. And it's the only way you can be objective. Because you are not believing in others to be above you. You believe in yourself. 
that you can the glory of Jesus. And you can be great. This is like only a lot of opportunities for your second life. So don't just stay with me working in the natural day. Go ahead and search and get a better way of explaining it more than working in the natural natural scientific in the class. The other aspect of it is spiritual thinking. When I say spiritual thinking here, always is applied when you have a problem. I want to give you one story of two billionaires. One of them is Jesus of Scrooge and he didn't know what to do. Now approach his friend who is also a billionaire by day and ask him, my Jesus is having a problem and I want you to advise him and his friend told him he said, what are your problems? He explained to him. And he not told him and said, this problem you are having is not problem. The solution is also with you. And he said, how can I know that the solution to this problem is with you? And that's why I engage a critical thing. No, but how can I engage a critical thing? Okay, so, okay, I will give you three things that you have to do. The first is to travel. You say to travel. What does that mean? Leave the location where you are experiencing that problem. Then, when you travel, the next thing is to connect. That is, you should disconnect completely from anybody. You have to go on the road. You may from one to nine, nobody should talk to you. You are talking to yourself alone. Then, the third one is that you reflect. Try to write down that problem. And only you sit down and think of how you arrive at the solution to this problem. By the time you are able to do these three things, you get the solution to your problem. And I can tell you, if this man went ahead, he traveled, he disconnected, he reflects, and by the time he came back, he had a solution to his problem. And that's what we call critical thinking. And I can tell you, not many people can do this. Not many people can do this. But I want to experiment it. Any problem you have, critical thinking can solve it for you. When we started addition of our two set of 100 level students, initially we wrote it down that we are going to combine two sets of students. Those that wrote down in 2021 and those that wrote down in 2022. But we said we want to. And we only 50% of those that are down in 52 to add to those that are down in 52 to add. I can't give us the approval. But I presented this to our team, expecting their proposal on how to handle this. Because unlike we don't have to have this kind of uh, number. But I can tell you, when we started the addition of those that are under 50, 52, we could not stop at 50%. Because of pressure from all houses. And suddenly, we arrived at almost 98%. You can see there is no But, as I told you, that whatever I mentioned to you here, today is what I practice. I went into critical thinking. And that is what brought to the directory of the learning that we have today. And for that directory, and also how are we going to operate it? We have to do for Let us know. 
we have to look over for the classroom. And I can tell you today, the kind of arrangement we have, the way we started our own Eli University, have challenged the end for any other university in the they did not start an So, and we are ready to pull in on it. Let me say, okay, those seven set of other level students who attend their class in their own classroom. Some of them say, are you, are you going to give up that now? <laughs> so, as some of them just arrived, we were in the university campus. And you don't want to go to public class. You are attending class with other students that are that came in group 2021. That what are you going to qualify those students? And I ask them, what is your group? Why are you attending class? They say you go to public class. They say they don't have that. Some of them say they don't have either one. So that was why we put up another call here. And we said for the is on for them or all the classroom should be protected for them in that world. But it's not too often, who by who to attend that class. So that the issue of no data should not prevent from having those lessons. And as I'm coming to you, to also address this of no data because the internal process has come to stay in federal election last year. Because of that, because of that, I'm already working with the company to come and take further options in this university so that we can have all sports. Can take accurate decision, but cannot take wise decision. 
Are you ready for failing if a wise decision is different from accurate decision? Because accurate decision is my duty today. But the result of that accurate decision cannot be applied to work. If you apply it to fail. And what is the reason? Accurate decision does not consider future as, as a factor. But if you, if you take wise decision, that wise decision will consider your future as part of the decision you are making today. And you can apply that anytime for whatever decision. So, and how do you get this wisdom? I've mentioned it several times. One of the ways for you to apply wisdom is through mentorship. Is through mentorship. And that is why you, the student now, should make yourself available for this mentor. It's very, very important. You may have that knowledge. But if wisdom is not there, you find it difficult to lead any society. And with your knowledge, people can be pushing you around. You will be taking decisions based on people's personal interests or emotions. And that is what is happening to many leaders today. You can be an academic staff, graph from your graduate assistant. Or to professional level, if you really seek wisdom, your position, your rank as professor may earn you position of vice chancellor. But then, people will not be using you to satisfy their interests. They will use you even against the system you are serving. Then I was a BC or federal university lecturer. At that time, the Bangladesh Chancellor of Federal University that year was Vice Chancellor. And we have association of Vice Chancellor of 12 Federal Universities, 12 new Federal Universities. So I want, first, the former Vice Chancellor of the Bangladesh Chancellor of each University was the former Vice Chancellor of the Four. That was the first year. The best. And the body was also a former vice chancellor. In my point, before the body vice chancellor of Busema. We have one for the Tokeni Ami, which I'm inviting him to this university for this one or next one to come and deliver the lecture in honor of the parallel master of this university. And for this, we we'll also come here to share that day. So, I try to tell you that these three people, they were former vice chancellor. When I was vice chancellor in Russia, and my own time, that was my first time to be a vice chancellor. I worked close with them to get other people. So, you can see that I've worked. It comes from former vice chancellor just to seek for wisdom. And that is why when I called the position of vice chancellor of Federal University of Nigeria, I told everybody good that I'm prepared for this job. That means I have already paid and I've earned the game of wisdom, which means I'm prepared for that for this rest. And this is the same thing I want you to do. Be close to people, get mentors, get work for them, and see for wisdom from them. Because this wisdom I'm telling you, nobody will teach you in the class. Nobody will teach wisdom in the class. You may see a professor that wants his class in his undergraduate. He may even be a professor in the education. But when you come to class to teach you, you will not teach you wisdom. You want to teach you the short term And that one cannot allow you to be a good leader. When, as I'm looking around here, I can see faces of some government ministers. Okay. What's that?
you have, you have given a drug across yourself, it will deny you. Because what you believe in, people will use it against you. If you believe in sentiment, sentiment will be used against you. And you by the leader of today, you are leaders of tomorrow. This is very important. In this country, is to develop. We will be thinking on how to look at our difference as assets. We should be looking at our difference as assets. Difference that they think are not concerned to be resources. But in terms of people use difference to spread sentiments. And sentiment is not system. And that's many of our youth these days, with what we are watching on social media, you will see where the small boy is slapping and poor person, and you think it's a good thing. You want to be fair, no, it's not a good So, let us learn how to come. Time management. Time management. Time is a source, you know it. But there are many of us that will not take time to be a source. We waste our time on things that are not profitable. So, let us do our time for what is profitable. And that's why when a meeting is called for them, we hear at that time. Or in fact, we do them. When the class is shared for them, we hear before that. And I'm telling you, it's not because of the this is what I find. When I first became the dean of Faculty of Agri, my first Faculty of Agri, only three people came at the right time. Myself, the Faculty of Agri, and the uh, one professor. And as a Faculty of Agri, we prayed for us. We prayed, we continued. And uh, people started coming up at the end of the day, uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So when we reach a point, somebody is like, sir, you are not as if you are passed out now. There was a case of the seminar. We are with the purpose. And I drew somebody that somebody that was acting by chapter. One of the students, he came from Sabasana. And I gave him that is the speech to share that setting. So, for me, I don't want to disrespect it because I've done it with one profession before. I think it's not my chair in seminar, and seminar will be by two o'clock. As I'm entering, it was two. I didn't see that professor, I took that one professor, it's not my chair. We are here five minutes, and the appointment chair was done. I said, no, I'm not your sister. You are going to have a big shadow. Because they didn't come out there. And I don't hear anybody to do to do this what I'm telling you. I don't hear anybody when it comes to this kind of business. So when I went to this former acting director of the university, who came from South Africa, I said, sir, I just want to come uh, to tell you that uh, since I've converted you to share this seminar, the seminar is two, and our two is two. He said, ah, the same thing. I've been told, I've been told that if I should go there, give me one minute days, I will see another person here in the seminar. The man will get 10 minutes to wait for us. So at this time, it's not waste time. And the student, two people are the one that's running that very well. And this is the time you should go back the back of your head. It's very, very important. So I want to thank everyone, every one of us. Uh, let me just uh, stop here and go. So, uh, to, to tell you, that I'm in this world, I've gone out in the past, I've seen 
We are population are very much, so we will see that the back will come in the that will be the We are unable to like hear our lecturers over there. And each time they come to class, they will be like the problem with the public address system will be rectified. Everywhere, I'm concerned. Finally, if you want to get to the water and the hostel, we are forced to come out of the hostel looking for water.
Paul removed his shroud and found it on you when he was looking back to his academic shroud. 